you are motivating Ben Roethlisberger at the age of 39. <laughs> and I hope I am, but, you know, he's missing three offensive linemen, and I know Jeff Sarri is going to agree with me. When you lose Villanueva, Pouncey, and now DeCastro, and you were 30th in the NFL last year at yards per pass attempt, it's going to be that much harder for him to be successful. So I apologize, Heather Dinich. I've been better for about 15 minutes, so they're going to stink. And then next year they're going to be worse <laughs> because they're going to have three other quarterbacks in their division that are going to get better, <laughs> and they don't have a quarterback in their future. And they are making a cardinal sin of they are paying a quarterback for what he's done, not what he's going to do. So all the respect in the world for Bill Cower, but in my opinion, it's over for Ben Roethlisberger, and losing three offensive linemen makes it worse. What do you think, Jeff, Saturday? I agree about the offensive lineman for, for Mike T. That's about all I'm going to agree. I, I, I can't bet against Tomlin. I mean, it just it's it, – listen, th this guy finds ways. I mean, he, he went 8-8 eight and eight with, with guys that played worse quarterback than I could play. So, <laughs> I, I think I think Roethlisberger, they will find ways. They were 11-0 and 0 last year at one point. I get that they, they, they fell off the rails. It came off the rails late in the season. But when you look at this football team, I still think Roethlisberger right. produced – with what was being asked of him. I think the offense makes some tweaks and changes. I think they run the ball better and more consistently. So I disagree with Mike T on the way that the team is going to go. I think Tomlin does a nice job of rallying his team, us versus the world. He's bringing those guys in with that defense. They're still going to be somebody to mess with in their division and in the playoffs. Yeah, Jeff Johnson, let's put a name on that running game. It's called Najee Harris, who uh, was a first-round draft pick this My year. God. Superstar, young back potentially, coming out of Alabama. And the other thought I have is look their offensive line was terrible last year so replacing a bunch of That's offensive right. linemen might not be as bad as it normally sounds during an offseason Darlington what is your sense of Pittsburgh this year yeah, you and I feel the same about Najee Harris and I think that his impact can really loom largely over the potential success here I also it's funny when you hear Jeff Saturday talk about when they started the season 11 and 0 last year like I, I never really trusted that 11 and 0 either, but now we're acting like they started 0 and 11. Like it, the pendulum has swung right. so far with the Steelers, and, and I'm not saying I completely disagree with Tannenbaum. I understand some of the deficiencies here. It's just like all of a sudden, I, I mean, this what was it November that they were still like had that undefeated record, mm -hmm. and a, a month and a half later, the season's over, and we're acting like the Steelers are just awful. I just I'm not there yet. I can't get – maybe I'm no. just seeing smoke and mirrors. I just can't get there yet. But there's another big X factor, which is, look, they've done a great job for a long time. Mike Tomlin's a great coach. Those other three teams have struggled for a long time. Those other three teams are all – have upwards trajectory. There's great young quarterbacks. Joe Burrow, if healthy. Lamar's been an MVP. A lot of people like Baker more than I do. But That's Cleveland's a, a really good team. Those three teams are much better than they used to be. So I think not only is Pittsburgh going down, but those other three are yeah. ascending. Well, Jeff Saturday, you said you can't bet against Mike it's Tomlin. Funny. Mike Tannenbaum can. In case you've missed the banter, Heather Dinich <laughs> earlier this morning um, was, was basically laying into Mike T for always talking badly about her Steelers. So she tweeted this. So real Tannenbaum is barely giving my Steelers a chance to win. Six yes. games. Six? All right, Greeny, it's on. Yes. I'm saying at least ten. I promise I'll give Mike T my terrible towel to cry in when I win this bet. The wager is on. I like it. And if they win seven games or more, I will buy Heather's terrible towel. I will put it on my backdrop, and she will donate the money to charity. So it is on. And maybe charity oh, will, it. you know, we'll raise some money for charity here. Which side of this wager are we on here, Jeffs? Jeff, Saturday, I'll start with you. They're going to win. Heather, Can he they win ten games? Yes, sir. I'm going Heather's. I, Mike T is giving me seven. I'm definitely taking the over. I'll take that bet and some dinner. Let's do that. Let's or do pancakes. that, Mike T. I'm in for that. Maybe some pancakes. Uh, what, do you, <laughs> yeah, Jeff Arlington, what do you think? This is one of those bets where, like, like head in my heart, like, I kind of want to agree with Mike T, but I absolutely cannot side with the devil here. Like, I'm with Heather on this thing, and I want to see her win, and I want to see that terrible towel in Boca Raton. Exactly right. <laughs> I, I am much more interested. I'm more invested in seeing Heather win this bet than I am in seeing the Steelers win all those games. I'm fine either way. All right, that's well done. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.